Welcome back everybody, today we're doing a ARC GPU, gaming on ARC GPU, and this time we'll be on the first descendant. I'm going to test every ARC GPU from the A310 to the A770 LE, and if you have a game that you want me to test and I have it uh, in my inventory, just a comment in the comments below and I will do some tests if I can. Welcome to Response PC, I'm Dunk, let's game on. Quick disclaimer, I'm playing all those uh, tests on a fresh Windows install without any junkware, all the Windows update done, and the latest driver in this case for the intel gpu is the 6078 starting with the bottom uh, gpu the a310 a 4 gigabyte vram card that don't even require uh, power from the power supply playing at the uh, 1080p low settings and native no technology pushing it uh, behind it it is giving us an average of 36 fps it's highly playable at native uh, native uh, settings for the cpu i'm using my uh, i3 12100f and it's in the 60 to 70 percent of its position for the memory i have uh, 16 gigabyte and i'm using just on under 12 gigabyte of uh, system memory that looked quite promising for the arc uh, series if the a310 can play the game all the other can also play the game and probably at higher settings and higher fps and on top of that if you go in the settings and turn on intel xcss you can also use fsr but since it's intel use the intel technology so xcss we bump the r fps from 36 to 52 fps average and i didn't see any uh, weird artifacts or bizarre uh, behavior with xcss so for the rest of the testing going to use xcss because if the technology is there and it's well implemented why not using it now upgrading the gpu to the arc a380 this is a 6 gigabyte vram card meaning we can crank up a little bit the settings in this case will be medium 1080p with xcss we get an average of 38 fps this is highly playable cpu is still in the mid 60s and the memory at a 10.7 let's say 10.8 gigabyte of system memory usage you can drop back the settings at the low settings if you want just over 60 fps but i rather have a better visual quality than a little bit higher fps at least in this uh, situation next up we have one of my favorite card of the lineup of arc uh, gpu the intel arc a580 this is a 8 gigabyte vram card and we can play the game at high settings with xcss at 1080p we get an average of 58 fps so this is just with the preset of i so you tweak a little bit the settings in the graphics you will get your average uh, just over 60 fps but i'm not here to play with the settings and optimize the game with the arc gpu i'm here to test the preset which most user choose low medium high ultra and then play the game the fps go as high as 80 on the small enclosed area to drop in the high 40s so playing with the settings will definitely do the tricks but i'm not there for that the gpu is a peg at 99 percent which is perfect that's what we want and the rest is standard utilization in the end this is the perfect 1080p gpu in the arc series next up it's my famous a750 elden ring edition from Ganair. This is again an 8 GB VRAM card and we now put the setup, the settings at Ultra. The preset at Ultra I mean. We are still at 1080p even though the card I'm pretty sure can be at 1440p at the medium, maybe high settings. But at 1080p, Ultra settings, obviously with XCSS enabled, we get an average of 58 FPS. And to be honest, I don't really see a difference between high and Ultra so I would rather play at high settings to get a little bit more FPS to be just over 60 FPS. It actually brings us to 64 fps at high settings instead of ultra cpu wise we're still in the mid 60s and memory wise we're still in the 10 gigabyte and finally i have the arc a770 le limited edition now this card is in my editing rig so i'm going to play at 1440p with the i7 14700k and 32 gigabyte of memory starting out with everything maxed out with xcss this will give us an average of 46 fps so i'll consider drop the settings to high settings to be just in the mid 50s or even medium to be able to reach 60 fps that is if if you want to reach uh, 60 fps for me personally i'll be comfortable playing it at high settings 1440p to have my mid 50 fps and in this current situation my i7 is doing almost nothing at 21 percent position and the system memory at the 12.6 out of 32 so this uh, game is not a uh, cpu hungry or memory hungry even for the gpu i have a 16 gigabyte of vram i'm only using 6.3 gigabyte of vram and because i can still with the a770 le instead of xcss let's do fsr 
It's comparable technology if uh, they were well implemented. And surprisingly enough, the FSR for this game is worse than XCSS for Arc GPU. I'm getting an average of 43 FPS. We lost uh, 3 FPS average and I get uh, some stutter here and there. That's nice to see that XCSS is running better than FSR. Like in Black Myth Wukong, uh, it was uh, FSR was uh, overpower uh, XCSS, getting more FPS when using FSR. And in top of that, if you decide to enable frame generation with the FSR, you, you'll reach your 60 FPS, but it becomes somehow unplayable. The latency of what you're doing on your keyboard and mouse is is not good. You, you cannot play like this. The A770 went from a 99% peg with just FSR to i70 to low 80s percentage of its position. For the VRAM, we went from a 6 to 7 gigabyte of a VRAM. So I don't know what the frame gen is using on the GPU, but the GPU is waiting for something. The CPU? No. We are in the, still in the 20s. So I, I, I don't know why it go uh, higher FPS, but uh, that is stuttery and lower usage of the GPU. And that's all for that video. That was uh, Arc GPU on the game The First Descendant. If you want me to test a specific game with the ArcGPU, just comment it uh, below and see you on the next one. Subscribe.